Americans are getting vaccinated against the coronavirus. The U.S., the most vaccinated large nation in the world. Dozens of countries are now working to vaccinate their populations in an effort to end the global pandemic. President Biden says that by the end of his first 100 days, the United States is aiming to have administered 200 million doses. And by May 2021, every American adult who wants one will be eligible to get in line for a shot. That said, 30 percent of U.S. adults still don't want to get the COVID vaccine, but they may not have much of a choice. The federal government can can require vaccination and things like that for coming in and out of the country. Both the state and city can have vaccine laws based on um, their legislative authority. Requiring a vaccine is a health and safety work rule. And employers can do that. Bonnie Jacobson knows this all too well. The Brooklyn resident was recently let go from her job after refusing to get inoculated. I was sitting at home and I all of a sudden just opened an email. I'm sitting on my couch and it said, basically, while we respect your decision at this time, your employment has been terminated. So can you so can you actually be forced to take the covid vaccine against your will in the United States? Well, That is the million-dollar question, ladies and gentlemen. Can they? Will they? I can see that the natural progression is it's going to be process of elimination by default, meaning that over time, essentially all the places you want to go are travel or jobs. Let's just talk about employment. Let's talk about kids and schools. By default, people are going to feel pressure to have to get it because they aren't going to be able to work at the majority of places and unfortunately they're being this is being pushed on us so so hard right now Uh, i'm going to post this entire video it's like 12 minutes i'm just going to play a few minutes check out the rest right quick to be clear the white house's chief medical advisor has already said that he doesn't think the federal government will ever make the covid vaccine mandatory However, powers at the city and state level, not to mention the legal rights granted to employers under U.S. labor law, may make it pretty difficult for some Americans to evade inoculation against the coronavirus. This isn't as unprecedented as you might think. There are a lot of required inoculations which are easy to take for granted. Just take the chicken pox. All 50 states and the District of... How did I know that she was going to... This is so predictable. How did I know that somebody, and especially this lay, especially CNBC, uh, lamestream, fake stream media, how did I know that they were going to bring up the chicken pox and use chicken pox as an example? What is going on in the world? Pussy. Wearing a mask all day makes me feel really tired and gives me really bad headaches. Sometimes I'm in school and I need to lay low in the dark until they're gone. It's arsenal. It can pass the law saying states will give you $3 million if you mandate the vaccine, but that's up to a limit. It can't do it to the degree that's coercive. The federal government could also, theoretically, impose it as a condition of getting a passport. So states and cities can require vaccines, and the federal government has a lot of influence as well. But the big question is whether the government will actually go through with rolling out a universal mandate. The first challenge is we won't have enough vaccine doses for people who want them. You can't require vaccines that's not available that people can't get. Another major factor to consider, none of the three COVID vaccines in circulation here in the U.S. are fully licensed by the FDA. Instead, they are all cleared under something known as an emergency use authorization or an EUA. Until they are officially approved, mandates seem to be off the table. And then there's the even bigger question of enforcement. Mandates, to some degree, depend on pretty widespread compliance. You can't enforce a mandate if 40% of your population is fighting back. If... Boom, yeah. Well, can't argue with that. Um, Very controversial issue, obviously. This is... (sighs) Well, to say it's serious is an understatement. I don't even have the words for it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to like this and share. I know a lot of people are going to, by default, want to hit the thumbs down button. But you're liking the video based on what I'm saying. And obviously, you can tell that you know I'm not quite uh, the believer yet. I think there's still a lot of concerns. Um, the fact that it's an emergency use authorization. It's not FDA approved, and so it makes you wonder, hey, 
if they do approve it through the FDA, would the federal government create a mandate or would that create one state or another state and then a domino effect of other states that start to require and uh, mandate vaccines? Um, it's, I think I already see where it's all going. I think most of us do. I think we all know that's probably going to happen at some point, probably in the next year or two or whatever soon. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments below. This is the United States, and specifically here, we should all have the right to choose. Our health is our own responsibility.